What's up guys and today this is Epic Gamer Tech and today we're going to be doing um a review on the uh really unique uh style controller they just came out with. It's a digital uh DualShock 3 um 6 axes um controller. It's a little bit different from um our other DualShock 3 controllers, flat black and stuff. Um, I'll get into that in uh, a minute. So okay. So first thing you noticed off, everything is pretty much the same except for the um, analog sticks. They're a lot more grip feeling. I don't know if it's me since I had a uh, old style kind, but it's they're. They're kind of slick feeling. I don't know if it's because I did a lot of gaming sessions and stuff. Um, uh, if you could help me out, leave a comment below. Could that affect any of it? But pretty much, they're pretty worn out. I mean, they're not as responsive as the uh, the new one. Maybe that's with all the new controllers. But that's also a new feature, if it's a new feature, that I figured out. Another thing I awesome. see they need to fix in uh, pretty much everything is the analog sticks. As you can see, in one point of your gaming career, you will be doing this type of motion with your uh, fingers on your analogs. And these analogs will wear out so bad. And they're about broke uh, wearing out on this, not as bad. But I have done this on a PlayStation 2 controller where I have done this so much playing the King Kong game, old fashioned PlayStation 2 King Kong game. Um actually one of the best graphics ever. Uh for PlayStation 2 titles, yes. And uh well anyways, cutting down to the chase, um it actually broke off this when I just went one day I just did that and the analog piece went flying. And uh I just had a little animal a uh, little stick sitting there like a joystick that was broken. Um, so I had to get a new PlayStation 2 controller. Um, I don't know if there's a metal piece sticking in there. That would be nice, but still it wouldn't be supportive. So maybe if Sony's watching this, they need uh, to send in a report and tell them about the PlayStation 3, DualShock 3 controllers. They need uh, metal analog sticks and then the, a better rubber coating. Um, the rubber coating is fine but they wear off so much so if they found a uh, new material they could use to uh, fix that um pretty much that's pretty much it except for the uh, matte finish that you got uh, different than the uh, other black DualShock 3 it's shiny and it shows fingerprints um, I don't know if anybody has done this but also with the PlayStation 2 controller I used to I used to have like a thousand games on the PlayStation 2 because they were so cheap, you know. They were only like twenty dollars compared to the sixty dollar games you get today. Um, I the buttons, the uh, the paint on them would wear wear out. I don't know if they enhanced anything, but you know it wasn't all on the analogs. It was more on the buttons and pushing them so many times sliding across and it wore out the paint on them so that is pretty much all my uh... gaming needs that i really want to talk about with the uh... new controllers that have been coming out dualshock three uh... also showing you what it looks like for the digital camo uh... another thing i think they really need to do make the controllers really you know step up your game i mean xbox has a lighting up controller we don't except for that little dot right there it isn't pretty cool um if you think about it you turn on an xbox controller and the ring on the controller spins now that is cool and it blinks and stuff what they should do is make that blink now uh... leave your comment in below and tell me what you think about what they should do with the controller and what they need to enhance it and stuff so thanks guys for watching this epic gamer tech video and i'll see you guys next time